Tracing images with the Focus 2D Vector Graphic Designer. On screen there are two examples of images which have been traced. First of all start with a blank screen. My images for tracing have been found on Google Images. The search is for animal outline and the tool setting is Creative Commons licenses. The reason for this is I want to find copyright free images. So let's trace the horse. Right button click on the horse image um, and uh, save image as. This will save the image to my downloads folder. Uh, I'm working on a Windows PC. That's now been downloaded. Switch back into uh, the Focus 2D designer. Select import image and uh, it defaults to my PC and downloads. There's the image. It's a JPEG image which is absolutely fine for this purpose. Open it um, and now we can see the image. So let's um, look at tracing it. The image is selected. Uh, use the image tracing tool and uh, the defaults which are trace for DXF. And there is a smooth function uh, that can be used to smooth out the lines. Sometimes that improves the tracing, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this instance. So let's close the uh, pop-up. Um, select the original image and uh, just move it out of the way. Uh, and then as a comparison we can see the, the quality of the image which has been traced. The image is an outline but there are three other shapes within it. These can be clearly seen if I switch off the uh, grid, select the outline and move it away. Um, then you can see the pieces which are, have been traced separately. Um, I'm going to delete those uh, because I don't need them for this purpose. Um, so now we have uh, a tracing which is 129.6 millimeters wide. Uh, by 188.3 millimeters high um, and um, that can be resized if um, required uh, by holding down the uh, shift key and dragging if you have a keyboard. Um, holding down the shift means that uh, the aspect ratio is maintained. Uh, if I don't do that then then the image becomes um, distorted. Um, so we have an outline in black. Um, to change the color of the line uh, go to the line palette and uh, in, let's select red, click off and there we have the horse. To generate four of those identical uh, we have a function at the top of the screen which is uh, to duplicate selected shapes uh, and uh, let's do uh, two columns, two rows and 10 millimeters apart. Apply and uh, close that one. To save this you'll notice that a, there's a message that pops up that says save now or dismiss. That's a prompt to remind you to keep saving because if the internet connection is disrupted then uh, you'll be logged out automatically from focus and won't be able to save the work. So keep saving um, to make sure that it's there. Um, incidentally the original image that's been scanned um, and uh, imported isn't saved as part of the file. The reason for that is we don't wish to fill up our server with unnecessary images. So that image on the left won't be saved. It will just be the drawing that you've created. Um, in order to save the file as a different uh, name, at the moment it's, been, it's called Horse and Bear 4. Uh, if I wanted to change that, I can uh, select Save As 
um, input um, my username and password. The username we suggest is an email address uh, and the password of your choice. Uh, the reason for that is if you use an email address then and you forget your password you can recover the details. If you don't use the uh, an email address you can't recover your um, password if you forget it. Uh, I'm going to call this now um, horse one and I'm going to save that. Uh, notice in the uh, tab at the, at the top here now it's called horse one uh, and that's your file name. To export this uh, drawing to uh, DXF for laser cutting, um, select the image that you wish to export, select export, um, select it as DXF, download the file or email it uh, to yourself or to your teacher if that's what's required. Um, the site will ask you to name the file. Uh, so. Four horses dot dxf that's very important to include the extension uh, download it uh, let's see what we have in um, our laser cutting program in this instance it's a program called laser cut file import downloads file open and there's the image that we created in focus so that's how to uh, import an image, uh, trace it and export it uh, using the Focus 2D designer. Uh, the next video uh, will look at copying and pasting an image into Focus uh, in order to do the same process. So um, have a look at um, video 2 um, which will show you how to do that.